So we are coming to number 18, exercise number 18, double tongue. So some people say, mm, it's not coming well the second note. I want to do taga and I don't, I hit awa. So, okay, the problem is if we want an articulation, we have to stop the first note. So the, the critical point is the end of the first note. We have to stop. I talk about sounds uh, now, ta, ka, not about movements. Uh. We know that the, the staccato is not ta, but I'm talking ta, ka, how it sounds. Uh. So if we have ta, ga, we don't have a ka, we have a ga. If you have ta, ka, we have the separation between the two, and then it's possible. So just look how is when you speak, it's a si, ya, ya, you hear ta, and this is really ka. If you speak ka in your read, check whether both make air, and So, naturally, the k is a bit less strong. And k, k, k is a bit less strong. So we have to practice always the, the k being a bit stronger than the t. I talk about sounds, not about movements. So, actually, we have then, uh, it's better to show it on the oboe, because we hear more. And also it's nice to see the black stick from time to time. Will come later, will come more. So take a middle D, D natural, because we hear all the noises very well because all the keys are closed. And it's a note that not only Strauss knew that always comes well. So I didn't do ta, ka. I did two ta, ka, so I cannot show it <laughs> better, but the ta, you have to stop with the K. Ta, we don't speak the K, we speak it then on the next note, but they have to be separate. Ta, ka, and the ka, you stop with the T. Because it's a bit like on a, on a string instrument, if you want two notes on a bow, you have to stop. Ta, ka. Na, a, uh, if you do da, uh, uh, it's one note with a, with a crescendo. You cannot have two notes, so ti, a, uh, the same as us, da, ka. Do it very slowly. Just try what sounds, uh, you know, you, you could play without, without attack. Uh, it's uh, already then the read attacks a little bit, so it should not be too difficult to do it with the K. So, da, stop. Ka, stop, and the stop is always the next attack. <laughs> now, normally the ka comes a little bit softer because it's from articulated from a bit further away. So I propose that you always try to do it a little bit more. Ta, ka. So how can you do it more? With the air pressure. So if you important to say what happens in the stop. Now I'm with a K as, as position and I keep blowing against that K. Then it gets very explosive. It's a bit like there are some bacteria that you want to get rid of and you have to finish, you have to find the right pressure and the right speed and then then you let them out. Huh? So this, sen this sensation, like just before, is just before the K. Ta, keep blowing. Ka, position T, keep blowing. Ka. Hmm? So in the silence, I, I go on blowing because I need, for the next note, I need that the air is ready to dance in the reed. So the aggression of the K, that we have to rise a little bit, comes by continuing of blowing against the closed door. Of course, when you open that door, then you have more energy. So
So that's why I think we should give it a rhythm that the, between the T and the K is more time. Hmm? Then the K will be more strong. Hmm? So we should practice It's like uh, the main point is ta, ka. You stop the first note with the K. And then when you keep blowing, when you relieve the K, it will be almost as energetic as the T. So in the exercise, you make the K forte and you make the T piano. And you make the time longer. So that we really focus on the thing where the problem is. Later you do it fast, it's not the moment to do it fast now. Huh? So thank you for that. Trip was number 18. We started this double tank later more. Thank you.